Hello all of you beautiful people. Welcome to my latest episode of my first Minecraft survival journey. If you would like to follow me on this journey, do so by hitting the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification to stay notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, so starting off, I went down to the mines. I did block down the entrance so mobs cannot enter the mine. Yeah, you can just see me continue staircase mining. Yeah, I did find a cave, I just wanted to safely go down into the cave. Anyway, so down in the cave, I decided to explore the cave. Let's fight off this stupid zombie. So I just continued lighting up the cave and exploring it. Okay, so eventually I wanted to start uh, strip mining for diamonds, so I stayed case mining uh, down to level Y, negative 58, to start strip mining for diamonds. So finally at level Y, negative 57, I did find my first diamond. I was so happy. But it was only just one diamond. So at level my negative 58, I started strip mining. And I did find more diamonds. So yeah, I already found 10 diamonds in total. So I went back up to the world to, to put away the diamonds. I wasn't ready to craft anything with it just yet. I just wanted to grab other resources. Yeah, I did extend the sugar cave, sugar cane farm. Okay, so I wanted to explore the world more. I wanted to see if I can find a village. 
So here you can see me heading off and exploring. I did collect some wool and meat along the way just for the journey. So over here I did come I, across a pot, savanna and mountain biome. So I collected the acacia trees here. I also just hanged around for a couple of minutes for the acacia samplings. And then continue cutting down more trees. So I set up camp for the night here in the mountains. I collected some more coal too for torches and for cooking. You can see my eyes slip. So I continued exploring. I did cut down a couple of the mushroom trees. I did also craft a fire pit to cook my food. Yeah, I did cut down a couple of mushroom trees to collect the mushrooms. I continued cooking the food. Okay, so after the food was finished cooked, cooking, I head off again to find a village. And finally, just when I thought all hope was lost, I came across this snowy mountains with a village so it was starting to get night I did sleep again but something weird about this village is there was a pillager tower inside the village so I was just going around the village carefully I did come across a library where I collected all of the bookshelves. I did have to clean out my inventory a couple of times. Okay, so I just visited some of the villagers to see what they have to offer me. I did find a couple of bread, potatoes and beetroot seeds which I took as well for my farms. I also collected the wheat and the seeds from their farm crop plants.
I did come here across a, I think it's a forge, where I did find three more diamonds and three blocks of obsidian. I also took the iron pickaxe. So I traveled the snowy mountains more to see if I can find spruce trees. But it was just snow and snow. I did come across a ruined nether portal. And yeah, I did find several gold equipment. And some soul, um, iron ingots. I collected all of that. Yeah, I did finally come across a beautiful spruce tree. So I loved it so much that I decided that I'm gonna take it down with me. Yeah, I just waited for the. Yeah, I cut down the leaves so I just. So I could have just collected saplings. I get back home. I decided that I want to build a sheep pen. Here you can see me starting to lay out the sheep pen with oak fences. I did also collect pumpkins along the way when I was heading home. There was, this was gonna be a small pen, but I can always extend it in the future, or I can just build additional pens. Here in the back, I wanted to build a stone wall, uh, because I wanted to build like a little pond on the inside of the pen. Okay, yeah, you can see me starting to build a pond. Yeah, I built a stone wall. So I just started uh, telling the land um, just to make it look like muddy around the pond. And I also added a bit of coarse dirt. Later on. So yeah, I was just making the stone wall a bit higher so the animals cannot get over it from the inside. Yeah, can we just? Uh, yeah, you can see me just adding slabs and full blocks. Okay, so finally finished with the pen. I lay down a path from the barn to the pen of course dirt and granite okay so I started building a wolf where I wanted to have farmland so I just start, started laying out a wall with cobblestone, stone and andesite and with the slabs
Here you can see me finishing off the wall. So I just started, uh, I did cut down that tree in the middle of the where I wanted the field. I collected all of the leaves so I can use the leaves to decorate with. A bit more detail. So I just terraformed a slight part of the hill just to make it look more natural and not too blocky. So I did add a couple of puddles of water and here you can see me starting to till the land. Okay, so finished with a part of the field, I continued tilling the land. So after I finished off tilling the land, I started putting down seed, so I still had a bit of land to till. I started planting the seed here. I was finish, uh, finish, finishing off planting the seed. I did not have enough seed for the entire field. But I just, yeah, I will just collect seed as the wheat grows. So I went out into the forest to find more, to find sheep for the sheep pen. And I did start to breed them. I added a couple of bone meal for grass. Here I started detailing with oak leaves around the pen. I made a couple of bit of hay bales with the hay that I collected at the village. I did make a bit of uh, pink dye from uh, lilacs. I breeded a sheep, some more, throughout the night. And I did dye some of the sheep. If you liked this video, Show me by hitting the like button down below. I hope you all have a lovely day. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you soon.